listen to the dog. He's crazy. He knows what's waiting for you here. Come on in. Crazy Dog. Crazy Dog Audio Theater presents Jerry in the Dark Passage, a story of a virtual man who lost his virtual way. Diabolic Playhouse. Stimulating audio theater from Crazy Dog. Come on. Come on, left, 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 left. Shoot, shoot! Yes! Okay. Right, guide, replay the last transmission. Most recent hostage transmission replay. I don't know if anyone's hearing this. I'll try to give you some kind of visuals. No windows here. But I'm hearing a lot of steps, yes. Up and down stairs. Wait, they're coming. Right. Give me a grid view. Grid map view. You are here on level two, sector four. Wait. Hold that view. What is that tall thing at grid B-13? The tower. That's the most likely place to hold the hostage. Running mode. Status? This area is not secure. But how could I make it this far? Unless I'm being led into a... Ambush! Ah! Oh no! No! Guide, what's my ammo status? Ammo for assault weapon. Zero percent. Ah! I, I can't stay here. I've got to run for it. Let's go. Come on, come on! Ah, <laughs> uh, no! No! I'm in his sights! Goodbye, loser. Not again! Quit play? No. Let's go again. Real time online? No. No, I'm not online. Headset? No headset, just plain old type mode. Game restart? Yes. And this time... I should get a friggin' headset. Okay, here we go. Click start. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, go, go. Move immediately to a secure position. Check. All set. Jerry! Ready. Jerry! Not now, Dave. Yo, Jerry! Leave me alone! Jerry, <laughs> Katrina is here. Later. She's already here now, like... She's here? Yeah. <laughs> I think she's ticked off. But she's not supposed to be here till nine. It's half past nine, dear. Half past nine? Already? I could have sworn I... Jerry! I thought you said you were going to be ready to go. Sorry, Katrina. I lost track of time. I was working. Working? On what? I'm stuck on level two. Oh, it's just a game, Jer. It's not just a game. It's... It's... Ah, oh, come on. We're late. Turn it off. Turn it off. <sighs> I told Suzanne we'd be there just after nine, and now it's going on for ten. Here's your coat. <sighs> Come on, let's go. All right, all right. Other sleeve. What? You have the wrong sleeve. Why are you so mad at me? You're the one that's late. I'm late because I had to get a gift for Suzanne. Why didn't you do it earlier then? Because I had to work. Jerry, did you bother your arse to get a gift for her? <laughs> Why should I? She's going to have a baby. She's your friend. Oh, typical. I run around and you sit playing your stupid game. <laughs> you two are too intense, right? Stay out of this, Dave. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm just saying. I ask you one simple thing and you can't even do it. I Look, can't I believe it. I said I would go, okay? Jerry, I'll just go. get your coat. Will you put, put the, the coat on? The coat on. Please. Yes. Yes. Can we can get dress myself. Dress. Yeah, thank you. 
<laughs> right, so I said, no way, I'm not having the washing machine in my fitted kitchen. Didn't I say that? Yeah, that's what you said, yeah. Washing machines do make a lot of noise, don't they, Jerry? Jerry? Huh? Noise. They make a lot of noise. What do? Washing machines. Uh, do they? Yes. Yes, they do. Not to mention all the humidity. So, what are you going to do then? The salesman was trying to get us to cut corners, and I said, we don't want to cut corners, didn't I, Adrian? Yes, yeah, Susanna. Yeah. I said, look, I don't care how much it costs, we have to do something. And so we searched and searched. And searched. Looking for the perfect fitted kitchen, and then finally, we found one all brushed steel. Show her the brochure, Adrian. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, the brochure, yeah. Oh, these are nice. That's the one there. Oh, it's, it's lovely. Isn't it lovely, Jerry? Yeah, it's oh great, super, incredible, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, you were, we're, we're quite pleased. We love it. It's very in design wise. What's it called, Adrian? Minimal. Yes, minimal. Now I know it's a height of fashion. Tray cool. But it's more than that. I won't tolerate clutter. You see. Oh, uh, you don't want clutter, not with the baby around. No, of course, my point exactly. So naturally, we can't have the washing machine in the same place. Well, what are you going to do? Well, just wait, I tell you. What? Adrian, tell Katrina what we're going to do. We're building an extension. Really? Yes. Well, that's the only thing for it, isn't it? We can't expect to live like scangers in some grotty flat. Like Jerry here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> of course not. Show Katrina what she looks like, Adrian. Draw her little brochure. International sources continue to report violent exchanges of the Black Swan weapons fire continue. There are also reports coming in of a downed aircraft which crashed early today near the city. Its pilot is listed as missing. It is believed likely that the downed pilot is in hiding awaiting rescue. There have been unconfirmed reports of radio distress signals. It is not known how long before it is realised I'm in contact and they trace my signal. But you must try to reach me. Try to reach me. Remember me? Emma Reardon in college. How you and I once shouldn't have ended like that. I can't say anything more. Not here like this, because... Jerry! What? What? That is so rude. What is? You know what? No, I don't. Suzanne and Adrian are heading off. Oh. Yeah, they're standing here waiting to leave. Oh, yeah. Bye, Suzanne. Adrian. Bye, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, see you, Jerry. Bye. 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 Yeah. Oh, Jer, Jer, right. Uh, I meant to ask you, are you still working in that weird comic shop? The time zone. Oh my God, you're not still stuck in that time. <laughs> but not forever, though. Jerry's talking about doing a course. <laughs> That's a great idea. You have to do something with yourself, Jerry. Yeah. Do something with himself other than what he usually does. <laughs> yeah. Um, I must go in there sometime, man. Don't be ridiculous. You will not go in there. But for my nephew, Suzanne. Oh, yes, of course. Well, look, we must. Uh, Sorry to be off. Yeah, bye. Come on. Bye. What is wrong with you? I used to know her. Who? Her. On the television. Emma Reardon, the news journalist. Yeah. We were in college together. College? I did a year, remember? Did you? Yes. I told you that ages ago. You don't listen. <laughs> I don't listen. You've been staring into space for the last hour. I haven't. Well, I'll tell you something, Jerry. Go ahead, you're going to anyway. You are so lucky to have me. <laughs> Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and five is your change. Great, thanks. Hey, hey, Jerry, it's Jerry, right? Just like it. What? Your name tag says Jerry. Oh, yeah, I'm Jerry. Quiet here today, Jerry. It's uh, early yet. Is uh, Kevin here? He's downstairs in the office. Would you tell him I'm here? He's busy. He's expecting me. Look, kid, you can't just come in here and demand to see the manager. Jerry, let's get something straight, okay? You are the poor oppressed worker drone with the cheesy Jerry name tag. And I'm the customer with the ching ching, right? 
Yeah, and I can have your ching ching and your 11 year old arse tossed out of here. 12 year old. Whatever. All you have to do is pick up that phone next to you and tell Kevin that James Farrell is here. Go on, tell him you want to throw me out. Go on, I dare you. Fine, I'll do that. Hey, Kevin? Yeah, I'm sorry, but there's a bit of grief up here. No, that's just this kid. Can I show him the door? James something. What's your name again? Farrell. James Farrell. It's Farrell, Kevin. James Farrell. So can I... What? But the kid is like... Yeah, but... Okay. Sure. Yeah. What did he say? He says I'll be up in a minute. You have issues, don't you? What? Oh, I can tell you have issues. I don't have issues. How old are you? 30? 33. How long have you been working here? Not long. Oh yeah, eight or nine years? Nine years. And what do you have to show for it? I've got... stuff. Your own house? No. Live with your parents? No. They kick you out? No, I left. Grotty bed sit, huh? No, I share a flat. Still rent then? Yes. Money down the drain? So? Have a pension? No. Savings? No. Assets? No. Degree? No. Diploma? No. Qualifications? No. Future? N hey, I have a future. Sure you do. I do. You married? No. Any kids? No. So you're 30 years old. 33. 33 years old, working in a comic book shop. Look, I'm warning you. Don't ever come in here when Kevin's not around because I don't care how old you are, right? I might just... You'll what? I'll... I'll do something you won't forget. That's what. No future. You little... Ow! Let me go! Let me... You freak! Hey! Hey, Jerry! Get him go! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm just winding you up! Who does he think he is? This kid is James Farrell. So? <laughs> James Farrell, alias Red Hawk. Red Hawk? You're Red Hawk? Yep, that's me. I was just reading about you, an Irish gamer. Oh, the new issue's out. Yeah, just come in. Here it is. Here, this is you. Yep, that's me. Oh, let me see. Red Hawk. Red Hawk champion of dark passage. <laughs> Brilliant, James. They didn't print your picture. No, nope, just my skin. Yeah, big guy, all red. Yeah, that's how I look in the game. Right. My parents don't let my pictures appear anywhere. They're afraid of weirdos on the internet and stuff. You know on account of I'm just a kid? Yeah, I noticed. That's why I pitch shift my voice when I'm online. You what? My voice when I'm talking online. It goes from my headset microphone through this digital thing, which makes it sound like this. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, my parents are totally paranoid. <laughs> well, in fairness, there's a lot of weirdos out there online, like. Yeah, but there's also gamers from all over the world. My mom says they're mostly dysfunctional middle-aged men. Yeah, probably. I say great. The more dysfunctional, the more easy to defeat. Dark Passage isn't really about shooting, you know. Well, sure, it's strategy. In fact, it's mostly strategy. But thankfully, I have a way of really annoying people. It gets them off balance and makes them easy targets. And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, playing games with their heads. Excellent. Essential. I keep getting stuck. Stuck? In the game. You play? Yeah. What level? Two. Ha! <laughs> Only two? Yeah. What's your skin and I'll look out for you? I don't play on... You don't play online? No. The whole point is to play against other gamers. <laughs> yeah, Jerry here has just been goofing around playing Dark Passage by himself for, uh, for how long? A year. A year? And you're still stuck on level two? I'm nearly <laughs> through it. I get closer all the time. The guide, guide voice. Guide you... voice? You, after a year, still use the guide voice? The guide is... For noobs. Noobs. New players. You're supposed to use the guide just for the first week or so. In fairness, the guide really helps me. Jerry, listen to me. You gotta get broadband, get online and start playing properly. Yeah, well, it just so happens that I am getting broadband and a headset, the whole works. So there. <laughs> so there? Who's the 12-year-old here, Jerry? I've already ordered the connection. Yeah, yeah, sure you have. I have. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Good. Bring it on. Oh, I will. I look forward to killing you over and over. And over. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You know what you're doing? Yes. <laughs> you don't want to screw up your computer, right? No. Because you, you, know, you can screw them up, you know? Yes. <laughs> oh, man, that's what I hate about them, you know? I, I saw this show once, right? Uh, they were saying it all comes down to, like, ones and zeros. Binary. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, binary, you know, nothing but ones and, and zeros. <laughs> digital. Yeah, 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 digital. Uh, hand me that Ethernet connection. The what? The yellow wire in the plastic bag. Oh, okay. This. Uh, oh, here. This is the one. But the thing is, Jet, right? Life, you know, the universe, it all, it all breathes, like, right? So, digital is not really real. Of course, it's real. <sighs> well, but real life is it's not just on or off, you know, binaries. Ones or zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real life is not ones and zeros, it's all in a flux. Flux. Flux, yeah, yeah, things flowing one into the other, you know. It's what is? Everything, you know. So you might think there's like perfect love, right? Yeah. No, no way. It's an ideal. It, it doesn't really exist in its pure form. I don't really think about these things, Dave. No, pure things only exist as abstract ideas, right? And ideas, right, are not real. They're real ideas, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I guess, but how real even are real ideas? You know what I mean? <laughs> no. Oh, it's like your your virtual reality here. Eh? It's virtual, but it's not real. Sure, it is. See, real. Uh, yeah, sure. The computer is, is is real, right? But what's on the computer is ideas, not the real thing. That's why virtual isn't. I mean, you know. I mean, it's it's not like... <laughs> Dave, what are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I thought I was onto something there, right? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, man, I'm hungry. Is Katrina ever coming back with the chips? Yeah, she shouldn't be long. There, the modem is hooked up. Now all I have to do is stick in the CD and let the wizard do the rest. <laughs> so, uh, what's this thing supposed to do, anyway? This thing here is a high-speed modem going into a high-speed phone line. Ooh, high speed! <laughs> With this, I'll be able to stay online and play Dark Passage all the time. You do that already, Jerry? Yeah, but now I'll be playing against real gamers. And I have this headset, see? Ooh, <laughs> headphones. Yeah, oh. and it has this little microphone here. Uh, yeah, it's like, who do you talk to? To the other players online. <laughs> to the game. <laughs> okay, Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, put the headset down. <laughs> Ow, yeah, put it down. Oh. Give us a break. Okay, okay, okay. It's not a toy. Well, yeah, 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 you need it for your global 24-hour gathering of the nerds and some... Gamers. Yeah, yeah, We're sure. gamers. Yeah, gamers, gamers, gathering of the gamer nerds and... Jer, Dave, what's the story here? The what story? Look at this place. Oh, man, she's at it again. The table here, it's all covered in your shite. Yeah, sorry, I've been hooking up the new connection. It can wait. The food will get cold, come on. Yeah, just a tick. Look at this. I can't even find a place to set this down. Oh, here, here, here. Let, let me get that stuff off the table. So, uh, Do you ever clear up in here? Hmm? No, what for? How can you live like this? <laughs> Man, it's easy. Jerry! It's working. I was a bit worried about the Ethernet port, but it's okay. I'm loading the game now. Great. Get some forks, will you? And some plates. Um, the game is installed. Go on. But Katrina, the, the game You is... were going to clear up, and what have you done? Hooked up the broadband. And the game. And the game, which I need to finish installing. But the food is here now. But the game is The just food will get cold. But I... Just I get the plates. Okay. And two forks. You want a fork as well, Dave? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, a fork, yeah. Um, uh, oh, what is wrong? Are you helpless? We don't have any in the drawers. Look, can we just eat from the bag, right? Yeah, that's what we usually do. Oh, sure. And while we're at it, why don't we go outside and eat the chips in the rain? What? For the full effect. No, no, no. no. The full effect is staying here and having chips from the bag in front of the telly. <laughs> Speaking of which, where's the remote? 
Vinegar Dave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. Ah, here it is. Viewing options. Uh, the vinegar's in here as well, Jerry. Oh, good, because it's not in the press. Jerry, I'd like us to sit down like normal people and eat. We're eating? No! This isn't eating. This is feeding. Feeding? Yes, feeding. Like goldfish. Goldfish? You know. Someone sprinkles on some crap down into your sad little bowl once a day and you two just open your mouths and feed while staring into space. We stare at the telly. If you want to waste your life eating out of a paper bag, that's your business. Hey, now in fairness, right, we... Shut up, Dave. Jerry, listen to me, please. I know you're a good person. Let's not do this anymore. Do what? This. This what? Jerry... You know you have to get out of this rut. What rut? Your life, Jerry. Oh, not this. What? All we want to do is eat chips, Katrina. And now it's a major thing about my life. <sighs> your so-called life. Listen to yourself. You're crazy. Crazy? I'm not the one going around acting so disturbed that people think I'm a freak. Who thinks I'm disturbed? Lots of people. People with lives. Oh, let me guess. Suzanne. <sighs> I didn't want to tell you this, but she finds you so creepy, she doesn't even like being around you. Yeah? And what terrible crime have I committed that I must suffer the company of Suzanne? Uh, it's called a healthy social life. What did I do to deserve such punishment? Suzanne is my oldest and best friend. But she's not my friend. She is a warm and funny and interesting person with a life. Oh, right. She has a life because she does what? She sells perfumes. Cosmetics, actually. Give me a break. Suzanne is the buyer for the largest cosmetics distributor in Europe, Jerry. And I suppose it's her duty, or whatever, to go around reminding me that I'm a freaking loser just because I work in a comic shop? And she's right! I work, she works. So, you know, what's the difference? Suzanne's job is a proper career with a future. You know, a life! I have my life! What life? My life! Yeah. You can't let it go on! Why not? I don't bother anyone. I don't kill anybody, so what's the problem? The problem is you, Jerry. Me? It's like... It's like you're giving up. I haven't given up. When we started going out, we had plans. But in the past year, you haven't done anything about your future. You haven't done anything about us. You barely open your mouth these days. I don't have anything to say. A relationship is supposed to be about sharing your feelings. The reason I don't share my feelings, Katrina, is because I don't have any. No feelings. Except for contempt. For washing machines and fitted kitchens. And for the real losers of this world who have nothing better to talk about than washing machines and fitted kitchens. It's fairly petty bourgeois in all fairness, right? Stay out of this, Dave. I'm just saying, it's bourgeois. You're content to keep floating along, aren't you, Jerry? Round and round in your little fishbowl. Being content is a crime? You're not really content. You're miserable. You just said I was content and now you're saying I'm not content? I'll tell you what you are. You're 33 years old, stuck in the same place you were 10 years ago. So? Will I tell you something, Jerry? Go ahead, you always do. You are so lucky to have me, you know? Yeah, lucky. But I'm getting really tired of this, Jerry. I'm serious. Of course. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Don't dismiss me like that, Jer. Please. I'm not the villain here, you know? You make me feel like I have to nag you all the time. Then don't. Sure, it seems that I'm a nag in your warped perception of things, but really, I'm just telling you what you need to hear. You need to face up to things for yourself. Otherwise, where are you going to end up, Jer? Where, Jerry? Where are you headed? Jerry, look at me. What? This is serious. Sure, it's serious. Right. Right. Can we have the chips now? Oh, here! Here's your bloody chips! Uh, Go. Hey, stop that! Uh. There you are! Feeding time! Quick! Catch them before they float to the bottom! You shook the chips all over the gaff! You better think about what I said, Jer. 
and leap out of your bowl before it's too late because I have my own life too, you know! Man. Mm. She's a bit miffed. Oh, my chips! She's crazy. You see that? She threw them everywhere. They're okay. Man. Just, just scoop them up, right? Perfectly good chips. Yeah. Here. Thanks. Mm. Well, in all fairness, I think she means it this time, Jerry. You know, all that about whatever she was going on about, you know, emotions and things, right? I mean, last chance to leap from your goldfish bowl. Yeah. Leap. Like free Willy. <laughs> Free Jerry. <laughs> Jump, Jerry! Jump! <laughs> but personal relationships with investors remain hesitant. Trading today was furious. Earlier reports indicated that long ago I experienced my first real love. The kind of thing that I see writing their name over and over in the margins of your notebooks. You fall in love for that first time, swept along by your romantic ideals. You're convinced it's true, that it's real and pure and perfect. But then what happens? Reality gets you in its sniper sights and bam! You're struck down by your own failings and selfish intent. It was doomed all along, not necessarily doomed to failure, but doomed to reality. With deadly aim it rifles through your heart, shattering your illusions. Eventually you emerge from the wreckage with just enough emotional shrapnel lodged in your heart that you never ever again can let yourself unconditionally surrender to love. But how wonderful it would be if we could only roll back time and be together again like we first were so long ago. Please search for me. Dear. With equipment sensitive enough to hear the faintest human heart. Dare! Huh? What? What? Hey, come on. Chill out. I know you're angry about Katrina. Who? But you don't have to take it out on me, right? Um, sorry, I just... She was just... She... I know. You do? <laughs> well, she just... Look, she hates that game of yours. I... The game? I forgot about the game! The game! All set up, okay. Jerry? <laughs> Jerry? Huh? The, the game, is it, is it okay? Yeah, it's loading. Good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, here goes. Put on the headset. Whoa. You are about to enter The Dark Passage. Live, online, interactive play in real time against real opponents. If this is your first time live online, prepare to experience faster action in real environments against real opponents. Every bit as mortal as you. Goodbye, loser. Welcome. I am your guide. Choose your code name. Code name. Yes. Please type in your code name. Oh. Um. Okay. I'll call myself Rescue One. Let's see. N E. There. You have chosen Rescue One. Yes. Rescue One. You must enter the armory before your mission begins. Enter. You have entered the armory. Here, Rescue One, you receive your weapons for your mission. Click Yes to proceed. Yes. This is your main assault weapon, the Oram 72 with laser guidance. The high-powered scope is aided by this laser guidance system. You'll note the red dot. Oh yes, I've seen those. Note the bead of the red dot. Sight the red dot on your target and discharge your weapon. Right, aim and fire. Now be warned, if you see a red dot on your person, it will be the last thing you see. Understand? Yes, red dot the end. Remember, 
In live online play, your opponents are real. There are no rules of engagement. Booby traps are everywhere. Trust nothing. Trust nothing. Click yes to proceed. Right, yes. Rescue one, you are entering the dark passage and face real opponents in real time. Are you ready? Yes. Here then is your mission. A state of total anarchy exists in a war of all against all. In your operation zone, you face countless hostile agents. Right, it's basically the same as the solo game, except the other agents are real and not programmed. You must eliminate as many of these agents as possible and rescue the mission objective. Your target objective will contact you from time to time. This is a portion of her last transmission. I can't stay here. I'm moving away from the river, towards the... Remember, when dispatching an enemy, you will hear this distinctive sound. Oh yeah, I've heard that before. About a trillion times. This sound is the only thing you can trust. It alone provides confirmation that your enemy has been eliminated. Confirmation. Do not be deceived by other sounds in carrying out your mission. Deceit is one of the weapons. Right. Lock and load your assault weapon. Okay. Now, proceed through to beginner's level one. Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, go, go. Move immediately to a secure position. Wow! It looks so real! So much detail and depth! Even the rain clouds in the sky! Oh, wow! Whoa! You are exposed. Run. Right. Run. Cover yourself. Fire on the run. Oh, yeah. I get it. Reload your weapon. Right. What's this button here? Everything moves so fast. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Huh. Oh. oh! What the? You have been eliminated. You must begin again at your last start position. That's right back to the beginning. Yes. Right. Five, four, three. Two, one, go, go, go. Move immediately to a secure yes. position. Yes, I know this time. A few covering shots, not too many. Conserve ammo. I'm right up against this wall. There, now, see who's shooting at me. There, up over on the rooftop. Excellent. Now move up a bit, stop at the corner. Around. Move forward. I can see a water tower to my left. You have been provided visual information. Right. A water tower. Let's see. There. There it is, way over on the horizon. Okay. This way down here. Begin your assault. Right. I'm getting the hang of this. Down here. Which way? This way. Oh, rats! Hold on. The sniper has me in his sights. Where is he? Oh, that was close. The angle of the shot. He must be up on the roof. Okay. That was your mistake. Now I know where you are. Get out of the laser guidance. Now, for that little red dot. Okay, mate, this is where you go down. Ready now? Stay still and I'll... What? How did... Somebody took him out. Somebody else. Who else is here? Continue with your mission. Right. Let's move. Oh, there's the tower. It's still a long way off. Big place. Help! Help me! What's that? Help me! It's coming from around the corner. Please! Somebody! Help! Ah! Ah, help me, please! Please! Any medical 
attention. Hey, you talking to me? A real player in real time. Yes. Yes, thank God you're here. No, no. Oh, wait, it's okay. I have no weapons. I just need help. There's my medical kit. See? Over there. Please. I was never in the game before. Help me, please. I just... Just get my kit. I... What do I do? Trust no one. What? Dispatch the target. But he's down! He can't move, he's out of energy units! Dispatch the target. But he's out! Is he? Yes, look at him! Fire a round into his medical kit. What? Fire a round into his medical kit. Please! No, I, I need that! Just bring it to me! Pick it up! Pick it up! Fire a round. All right. Here. Ah! A booby trap! Deceit is a weapon. Dispatch the target. Right. No! Please! I'll have to start again! Confirmation of kill. Focus on your mission. Cover ground rapidly. Right. The mission. Onto the tower. What? What happened? I happened. Katrina? Hiya, Jerry. Why did the... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Is this yours? I found it stuck in the wall. The plug? You... You pulled the plug? Yes. You can't pull the plug! Well, I just did pull the plug. You never pulled the plug! I had no choice but to pull the plug. What? I've been here for ten minutes, Jerry. Did you not hear? No. What is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong. I just... Look... What? The... Don't tell me. You've been at that stupid game since I left yesterday. No. No. You left... Yesterday? Yes. Yesterday. Look at you. You're a mess. This obstacle is interfering with your mission, Jerry. Yes. You'll have to get cleaned up. What? You can't go out looking like that. You must deal with this, Jerry. Oh. Deceit is a weapon. Use it. Just look at the state of you. I'm not good at deceit. What? Who's talking about deceit? Tell her what she wants to hear and get her out of the way. I can't anymore. I just want to say it. Say what? A direct assault? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay then. Get yourself together and I'll wait. Come on. Get out. Oh, Jerry, please, just get it. Get out. What is wrong with you? Now you've done it. You must commit to the action. I said get out! Jerry, you know, you can put your plug back in. It's... Get out now! I'm trying to help you, Jerry. I don't need your help! You're making a big mistake. Get out and leave me alone. No! Oh, get Jerry! out, Katrina! Jerry, let me now go! You're hurting it! Apply more Jerry! pressure to the obstacle, Jerry. Jerry. You are a loser, Jer! And you can't even see it! The obstacle is removed. Resume the mission. Wow. Physical been it's been hours since I can get here. I'm so tired. Sleep. Oh, my eyes. Do not lose focus. Right. Right. Okay. I'm hiding in a building. It's red brick. Near the base of a tower. Rescue one? Are you out there? Rescue one. What? You are now within range. Right. The longer the radio contact, the better chance they have to lock in on your position. Right. So I'll maintain silence. This could be a trap, right? A trick to get me to open up and communicate? Deceit is a weapon. Right. Please respond. Um, Jerry. What? Jerry, it's me, Emma. How can she... I want you to stay here with me. I need you, Jerry. I need us. Wait. That's Emma. Emma? How can she know it's me? My name. I'm Rescue One. Jerry. 
Help me. Help me. Help me. Okay. Let's go. Ah, here's the tower. And there's the red brick building. Right. Jerry, please hurry someone is. Okay, to the building. She must be behind this door. Jerry, don't. It's okay now. I've come for you. No. What the? The red dot on me? Who is behind you? Oh. Ah. <laughs> so, you called yourself Rescue One, eh, Jerry? Red Hawk! Down here at level one! I know all the trap doors, Jerry. I can move everywhere. You ready to. Oh, no. Come on now, please. Jerry, I love you. Ah. Jerry, <laughs> sorry, did I scare you? Dave, what are you doing here? Um, <laughs> I live here. What? I've been gone off you for like half an hour. It's, it's nearly nine, right? Nine? Nine what? Nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, look out the window, man. <laughs> See? Ah. <laughs> yeah, sunshine. Have you been at that game all weekend? Yeah, I must have. Sure. <laughs> It's crazy, even for you. Like, did you see Katrina? No. I mean, yeah. But no. <laughs> What's the story, Jerry? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Just gotta get it together. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> Jerry, have you slept at all this weekend? I, I don't know. You don't know? <sighs> Dave. What? I'm... I think I'm... <laughs> it's okay, it's, it's all crazy, you know? Yeah, but this game online, it's incredible. Yeah, sure, man, I've seen it. You have? Yeah, 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 you run around shooting things and they shoot back, yeah, right? Yeah, right, but... <laughs> what are you trying to say, Jimmy? That... It's like a fallen right in. And the dark passage, it's everywhere. You know? Oh, yeah, sure. It's it's everywhere. Huh? On TV, magazines, all that. The hype and stuff. Oh, yeah, so I've seen it. It's eerie. Yeah, sure. It, it's so real. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of real, don't you have work or life or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. Work. Oh. 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 <laughs> hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Proceed with your mission. I'll proceed. What? Jerry. 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 What, Kevin? The boxes. Boxes? The new comics, they're still sitting here. I've been... Uh, Look, I asked you like an hour ago to shift them, you know? New stock, hello? No new stock on Saturdays. It's Monday. Yeah, Monday. Look, stop fooling around. Get the new stock opened, price tagged and up on the shelves now. Yeah, of course, Kevin. I'm sorry. I'm just fairly wasted, you know. I sort of lost track of everything. It's Monday? You just get to work. God, what am I dealing with here? 350, 350, 350, 350, 350, 50. Hey, Jerry, how's it going? I'm all right. Really? Yes, really. You sure? I'm sure. Even after you got the old from Red Hawk? You know, kid, you are so sad. I won, you lost. And I'm sad? I don't think so. Is there something you want? Because I'm busy here. I just want to talk to you, Jerry. Make sure you're okay after losing so bad. I didn't lose bad. Yeah, it probably seemed to you that you got really far before the old... Yeah, I made it all the way to the end. First time out. Sure you did. I did. You must think you did really well for a noob. 
But don't you find that a bit strange? No. Well, Jerry... I guess I have to break it to you then. Break what? Someone was watching your back. Know what I mean? No one was helping me. I was alone. Right? Alone. No, Jerry. Jerry? Jerry? It's everyone against everyone else, Jerry. Yes. Jerry, uh, you okay? The guide is right. What? The guide. Uh, sure, whatever. But what about the sniper? On the roof? That's right, on the roof. Someone took him out for you. You? Yeah, and about 15 other opponents. Just to help you get along. Know what I'm saying? Why? Just toying with you. Eliminate the target, Jerry. What target? Jerry, he's in front of you. What? How can... You don't get it, do you? I get it. You seem upset. I'm fine. Good. You're fine. Yes, I'm fine. Just let me do my job. I'm fine. Well, you don't seem fine, Jerry. Never lose your focus, Jerry. Uh, ah! See? Here, let me help you with those comics. I'll get them. I'm just trying to help, you know. I told you. I don't need any help. Not here, not in the game. Your stress. Deceit is a weapon, Jerry. Even here. Yeah, that's right. What's right? I get it. Do you? Yes. This is what you do. What I do? Screw with my head. Make me think crazy. That's what he's doing, Jerry. Why would I want to do that? You know why. That's it. Focus on your mission, Jerry. I am. You are what? Focused. Oh, that's, that's good, good then. Because, because I'll, I'll be watching, watching over you, Jerry. Every moment I'll be there, around every corner, on top of every rooftop. <laughs> Dispatch the target. He's within range. Goodbye, loser. All right. Jerry, what the? Stop it! Stop it! Where's the? Psh? I need confirmation. Jerry, have you lost the plot? Yes. The boy was rushed to hospital where doctors describe his injuries as critical. His assailant, an employee of the shop, immediately fled the scene and authorities are seeking him. So you must move quickly, Jerry. Yes, I will. I'm here. Can you see me? Yes. I'm putting on a brave front, Cherry. But that's all it is, a front. For so many years now. Ever since our last day together. Remember that day? A sunny Tuesday afternoon in May. Just before I quit college? Yes. We went out the Lee Fields and sat down here by the river. Yes. I see. The fields. We lay down in the grass right here and just shared the silence. You didn't say a word. You didn't have to. I wanted to make love to you here. So much. Yes. So did I. You did? Yes. But... You said nothing. Nothing. And the moment passed. Yes. Why did you let the moment pass? I don't know. Jerry? Yes? Find me tonight and we'll get that moment back. Find me. I will. Jerry? Environmental activists say the slurry entered the river from a single source, which damaged fish stocks in the lake for several miles. Jerry? Yes? 
I hate to intrude, but you can't remain here in the flat. This position is not safe. I understand. You know what you must do? Cover ground quickly. Yes. I can only guide you. You have to do things yourself. I'm ready. You'll need to choose a weapon. From the armory. Something for close range that won't attract attention. Yes, of course. Over here. How about this? Very good, Jerry. Discreet, sharp and silent. Yes. You're monitoring her transmission? Yes. And here with me now, in the television studios, is Minister for the Environment. Yes. You have located the target. She's at the television studios. This is the final failsafe. Click yes to proceed. Right. Yes. Jerry, you face an environment as close to reality as possible, with real opponents in real time. Yes. Lock and load your weapon. Hide it under my jacket. Good. You ready, Jerry? Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Well done. You made it. Undetected. Thank you. All the way to the television center. Secure vantage point. See? Front door is just ahead. Good. I can get to it before they even know what hit them. Weapon status? It's here. Jerry? Yes? I'm really proud of you. Yeah? I know no one has ever said that to you before. Yeah. I know. But it's time someone said it. What? You're the best, Jerry. Really? Of course. Just look at you. Strategy, tactics, deceit. You've mastered the dark passage. Focus on the mission. That's right. Focus. Focus. People will talk about this. Yeah. Jerry, can I say something to you? Sure. You're my only friend. I hope you don't mind me saying that. No, I understand. I know you do. Yeah. All the others. They don't understand, do they? No. It's so hard for me to say things sometimes. I know. It's like I can't say anything sometimes. Focus. 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 I wish I was different, that I could fit in and feel comfortable with people. Yeah. But I'm not that way, am I? No. I'm not. Someone's coming. Let's not go in there. Oh, you're dead wrong. Right. Who is it? Can't tell yet. It's minimal. It's all the rage at the moment. Oh, yeah, but it's very... It's Emma. Target very in sight. Easy to keep clean. It's very Ready. important to be practical Ready. and clean. Go. Francesco wouldn't have go. any other way. Oh, go. We spent Emma. a fortune on Emma. the whole kitchen thing. What the us. heck? Emma. What is that? Emma, I made it. Quick, let's go. What? Oh, my God, it's the guy from the news. Who? Remember, the kid in the comic shop. Uh, no, please don't. Emma, it's me. Uh, hey, Nana, we don't want any trouble here, okay? You have to come with me. No, please. Act. Act quickly. Seize the target. Emma, no. Oh, my God, look out. He has a knife. Do it, oh, Jerry. Oh, oh. Oh, hold on. I get my keys. Take it out of Emma, I get it with please. Emma. Take me, Jerry. Oh. Oh. Emma, I've come to save get you. Get my down. keys. Oh. Get his neck. Oh. 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 together. Oh. Security. Right, okay. Now, Donald, you're going to be okay. Emma, it's me, remember? You and I. You and I. Who? Us. Together. Barry? No, it's Jerry. Jerry from first year? Yes. Oh, God. You, you know him. Well, not really. The moment. It's here. What are we doing? I've got security. I'm all right. You're on the way. Keep the pressure on your arm. And what about this? Jerry Jerry Look 
look at your heart, Jerry. Go on. Look. The red dot. You've been listening to Jerry and the Dark Passage from Crazy Dog Audio Theatre's Diabolic Playhouse. Written, directed and produced by Roger Gregg and featuring Anthony Brophy, Morgan Jones, Deirdre Malloy, Anne Byrne, Dermot McGinnis and Louis Gregg. Visit us at crazydogaudiotheatre.com.